Shalom, Shalom. May the real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out, prophesy the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Harachak Badash, Devil Honors to the Apostles out of New York, Great Millstone, and GMS. Honors to all I can run the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. This is Brother Uriah from Great Millstone, Chicago, jumping straight to it. How is New Year's? You know, how is New Year's uh, in, the, in the dead of winter? You know, and what is New Year's according to the scriptures? All right. I don't know what the title is going to be. Something to do with between one of those two. All right. Or something combined with them. But um, if I get one more happy motherfucking New Year, I'm going to cuss a motherfucker out. And they're going to be like, what? When I say cuss out, I'm not to be shit motherfucker. And I don't talk about that. Um, Happy New Year. Is it really New Year? When is New Year according to the Bible? How are you so called when you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Then what's New Year according to the Bible? Then what's new? Show me what's new out here. Every time they show me the, the American New Year, you know what they tell me what's new? Some new laws that's going to start January 1st. Hey, that's not new as far as making it the new year. Look at the scriptures. Exodus 12 and 2. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Okay. Let's see. What month is he talking about? All right. Verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. All right. So what month is the beginning of the month coming uh, out of Egypt, all right? Well, let's go see what the scriptures say, because it just said this month should be the first of the month, all right? Exodus 13 and 4, the very next chapter, it gives you the title and name of the month, all right? Verse 4, this day came ye out in the month Abib. Look at the NLT. Look at the in it in uh, the NLT version. On this day in early spring and the month of Abib, you have been set free. Early spring. So when spring starts, how what's early spring? When spring starts. At the beginning of spring. Alright? <laughs> now watch how cold blooded this is, alright? Now you go see Abib. Well, let's go do it in since we're here. And go to into linear. This day ye came out in the month Abib. Ah Bayab. Alright. Fresh young. Oh, fresh. Young barley ears. Barley. Month of ear forming and green of crop of growing green. Month of the Exodus and Passover. March or April, because it depends on the new moon. Depending on the cycle. If you go do your research. All right. When things are what? Green. Now, if I go and show you the trees now here in Chicago, zoom in my camera a little bit. And uh, oh, yeah, turn it around. Turn it around. There we go. There's no green leaves on the trees. There's no green leaves on the trees. They're bare. Where what's new? What's new? The grass is relatively brown. Okay? Because of the cold. Alright? The only thing green would be the shrubs or the evergreens, which they do stay green in um 24 7 365. Outside of that, the regular trees? The flowers, done. They're, they're, they're not there. I would go show the front of the house, but then the address is on there. Don't want no creeps doing no creep stuff. To show you that my all my flower plants, all dead. All my, all, all, uh, everything is, is, is dormant right now. It's nothing new. Okay. Turn that back around. So this says March or April. Now, say if you didn't know that Abayab, 
from the Strong's definition, from an unused root meaning to be tender, green, year, young ear of corn, so like a young ear of grain, hence the name of the month Abayab, or Nisan, which is the Yiddish way of saying it. Ear, green ears of corn. All right? Now, if you didn't believe that, you say, what month is Abib? And he's still going to tell you. The, um, now, they're going to tell you April, which is not correct. It should be March or April, as you saw in the... In the man, just bring that back to the blue letter. March or April. Okay, you see that? March or April. Because the, the Earth is run off the sun, the moon, and the stars as far as time is concerned. Okay? And that you can find that in Genesis, the... 13th chapter, no, first chapter and around the 13th verse, like it. Um, 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. What season, days, and years? Fall time, winter time, spring time, summer time. All right. And the Lord said, Let it be for seasons and for days and for years. And we know what those lights are. If you read on down, we'll see the sun and the moon and the stars. Now we're going to the Apocrypha. He said, um, he said it, the, the moon as a declaration. Declaration. Not debatable. Declaration. All right. Sirach 43 and 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season um, for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called by her name. The word month uh, is moon because the moon sets the timing of the months and the days and the years. If you read the scriptures, you will see this. This is, the, this is all you need right here. Is a de declaration of times of time. This how you keep time? How did you declare the time? Oh, you look at the moon, and this is that simple. All right, so in the new moon, let's go into new moon calendar. New moon calendar 2023. All right. Um, I'm keep it simple. Let's see some images. Let's see whichever one is the simplest because I don't care about all that. So now they got full moon. I didn't say full moon, I said new moon. See how that Esau that threw that in there? So it looked like Nate would love that. Okay, I'm just gonna put on this one. This is a little bit more complex, but all right. The new moon is when you can see it all dark. All the, this one here in the middle, these. The ones that are all dark, not the ones that have the half moon, uh, crescent moon, or full moon, okay? And that's how you know when the new moon is, but I don't see easy dates. I'm trying to make it simple. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. A moon calendar for 2023. They'll tell you. January, the new moon will be on a... Uh, uh, shoot, sorry. Okay, I got to click on it. Okay, there you go. Click on it. All right, the 21st, February the 20th, March, you know, uh, the new moon in like is, uh, what is it, the 21st or so? All right, yeah, the new moon. You can see all the new moons. Those will be the first of the month. And the, I mean, the first, yes, the first day of the month. And um, you find that in the scriptures. Let's, let's go see second second day month so let's see that's Samuel first Samuel here 20 and it came to pass on um, 2027 and it came to pass which was the second day of the month David's place was empty okay let's go into this chapter see what they call the first day of the month according to uh, the chapter verse 24 so David hid himself in the field when the new moon was come. 
and the king set him down to eat meat. You look down, it says, and it came to pass on the morrow, morrow means tomorrow, the next day, which was the second day of the month. So the, the what day preceded that? The new moon. What day was this? The second. What day preceded that? The new moon. What number of day would that be? The first day of the month. That simple. You look at the new moon, that's how you would know. And you go into Esau's calendar, it, it goes all over the goddamn place. He adds several days, he adds this, he adds that. The Most High doesn't do all that. The scriptures will tell you what, how to find out the time. So, Abib, the first day of the month, I mean, Abib, the first year, the month of the year to you, you find out the, month, the, the new moon in that time period, which will be either sometime in March or sometime in April, depending on um, the year. And then you'll see what the new moon is. I mean, um, uh, yeah, the new moon is in that particular month, and you know what's the beginning of the year. But I promise you, it's not going to be January. And just to even go take another step further just to show you what is the definition of October? Let's go see. The 10th month of the year, right? That's what they'll tell you, right? All right, so now uh, what is the real meaning of October? The ancient Rome calendar, October was the name of the eighth month. What does octo mean? A octagon. It means eight. The name comes from octo, the Latin word for eight. When the Romans converted to the 12th month calendar, they tried to rename this month after various Roman emperors, but the name October stuck. All right, eighth month. Guess what? Let's, let's, let's do the definition of November. Novi. All right, November. The 11th month of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, let's see what it means. What is the real meaning of the November? Oh, the word November is derived from the Latin word novum, meaning nine. So octo, October, means eight, even though the white man says the 10th month. Novum, which means nine, which is the ninth month, even though they say it's the 11th month. Let's go to December, meaning of December. Oh, so 12th month of the year, what's the real meaning? The ult this ultimately comes from the Latin December meaning 12th, I mean 10th month in the 10th month Roman calendar because the word dis deci, decimal goes to the word of 10. So then what would be the 11th month? Oh, <laughs> would have been January. What would have been the 12th month? Oh, <laughs> it would have been February. So then what would have been the first month of March? So the new year is in March. More evidence showing you how Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is a liar and the father of it. Okay. So I just want to get some scriptures and, and some evidences and some receipts to prove what day is the Lord says is the beginning of the of the year. It's spring. When everything is new. The new shoots, the new barley. All right. And that thus saith the Lord. Hopefully, this has been edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah Bashem Kachbek. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kachbek. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, Great Millstone, GMS. Honor to Akim around the planet. Lift up the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. With that, I want to say Shalom and Ababa Ball.